Hello, wonderful souls. Welcome to our transformative session of Navigat. This is our fourth session, Navigating, Creating, Igniting. I'm Valerie, and I'm truly honored to guide you on this journey to navigate through the depths of your true self. So today our theme is Embracing Authenticity, and it's an invitation for you to illuminate the unique brilliance that you have within you. It's a call to shed the layers of expectation that society put on us and self-imposed judgments. Have you ever wondered how do we lose and split from our authentic selves? It starts with a fundamental human experience when there's a lack of attachment, when you, we are not feeling safe. So picture that there's a shedding masks, the mask that we create to feel enough, to make someone's happy, to follow someone's expectations as we navigate through our growing up stages in life. So today, Corey will guide us on this journey to shedding the masks within us. Hello, Corey. <laughs> I'm so Hi, excited. Valerie. <laughs> Valerie and I are so um, looking forward to this for many reasons. This is such a big topic. And again, like I shared last time, Valerie receives the topics and we just flow and navigate together. But we're all so excited because the sound got fixed <laughs> before we found a little echo and I think you heard it too so this is wonderful everything's in flow and I think it's because it is such an important topic so thank you Valerie what you just shared is vital information and this is something I when I learned it it just made so much sense and in fact there is so much research being done I would definitely point you towards Dr. Gabor Mate who has probably the most information out there free for you on YouTube, but there's several books all about, as a doctor, he saw all the ailments in the people he worked on, whether it was physical, emotional, it's body, mind, it's always related to attachment. And this is a topic today, embracing our authenticity. And this is an inside job because as Valerie said, when we were little ones, we had one thing that we needed. We needed safety and we needed that through our parents. And that's through attachment. And bless our families, bless our parents, but most of them, they didn't receive that. They didn't feel safe. And so they couldn't give to us what they don't have. So what do we need to do as humans? Well, first of all, safety is everything. So we need to kind of mask up. And in order to feel safe, without even knowing it, this is an inside job, we start to watch what people around us are doing. Because when we're born, we're just little clear, we're like a little clear device, little clear iPad. And we're just watching everyone around us and we're just downloading everything we're seeing, sensing, hearing, feeling. And now we know that we're in theta brain state from zero to seven. I think I mentioned this before, we're in hypnosis. So whatever we're taking in, in our family system, in our society, in our schools, in our churches, wherever, in our temples, wherever we are going and being is these little ones growing up. And by the way, from eight to 14, you're still only in beta mind, which we're talking in 20% of the time. So you're just downloading all this stuff in you're learning from others how to mask up. So for example, in my family, I learned that to be important, to, to be seen in the family is you just get stuff done. Just do, hyper-perform, just go. That was one of my strongest masks. And it's still one that I can see pop up at times when that inner child gets activated and work through. So today I'm gonna to invite you to grab your art materials. So I've got these, my crayons are always here. I have got my pencil crayons, which are still in the box. So if they're still in a box, like Valerie's box is 
just fine. <laughs> it's free. But if yours are tight like this, just pull these, oh, pull these babies right out and just get them, throw them on the, on the table in front of you. Because I, what we're inviting you to do is not to create art like we were taught to do from the linear mind. We're going to move our energy through just that knowingness of like this color is lighting me up. I'm going to grab this color. This color is boring me. I'm going to drop this color. And we're just grabbing and we're moving with intention. What is the intention today? I want us to discover and uncover what were the pseudo personalities or the what were the coping personalities, the masks that you had to put on as a little one right up to yesterday, right up to this morning to feel enough, to feel enough. So I want you to go ahead and I'd like you to just draw a mask on your paper. So Valerie, like a big old oval. I have struggled with StreamYard because it's opposite. <laughs> so I'm just inviting you to draw a big oval, about that big, maybe a bit smaller because I'd like you to write all around your oval. We're gonna start writing. You watch Valerie, because I can't seem to work on that flip camera. All around that oval, I want you to just breathe with me. We're going to take a few deep breaths. And in the quiet space of being, you're, you're going to play out on your page all the different masks that and, and coping personalities that you notice pop out in your daily life. Or maybe you've come through some of them, but they used to be there. That get you through to feeling safe and feeling supported, connected and attached, whether it's in your birth family or now maybe in your work family, or maybe now in the family you've created or your friend group, what is something that you do and you realize this isn't my true self. Now you're totally safe here. Nobody's seeing your page, but you know the difference. Like Gabor Mate says, we split off from our true self and our true self is always there. The one that can say no, and yes, and the one that can be sad and angry and feel everything, it's always there, but it gets layered up under these masks. So go ahead and let's take a few grounded breaths. So just put your hand on their mask. See how Valerie's drawn that mask? Go ahead and put your hands, make connection with it. There is absolutely no shame, blame. It's absolutely innocent. We all do it. <laughs> the, everyone does it. The thing is, what do you do with it? will decide if you expand as consciousness and you live with ease and joy in your truth and authenticity, or if you just rinse and repeat and keep in that hyper-performing mask misery. So just putting your hands on your mask, let's breathe in for a slow flow. Inhaling nice and easy. If you want, you can close your eyes like me or else just keep them open. And just please exhale oh, all the way through your body through your hips, through your knees and your toes. Again, inhaling slow. We're moving you out of that stress survival brain into your smart creative brain. And now release with a longer exhale than you inhaled. This moves you into your smart brain, your creative brain. One more breath like that. Beautiful. And please just release with a sigh. Nourish yourself with your whole breath. And in that breath, just keep flowing. Keep in that breath. I invite you. That's your natural state of being. <laughs> and now, without any judgment or any blame or shame, what we resist persists. So just let out every mask on the edge of your page. I'll share a few that might come through. Some of us have to be superheroes in our families to be enough. Oh, some of us play the role of Cinderella, the servant. Yeah, Valerie's got Rebel. Rebel was on mine too, Val. <laughs> Hyper social butterfly, perfectionist, so shy. I don't dare to say a word. You might actually surprise yourself because, like, for 
for certain situations, you might withdraw and be shy. In other situations, you might feel, no, I, I have to hyperperform or I have to be the judge in a situation. I have to give justice and the strong last word. Or maybe you find that your mask is, I'm going to be the chubby one. I'll be the, I'll be the, the one who's a little chubby and on the side. Or I'm the super skinny, sleek one. I'm hyper fit. Maybe your mask is that you're, I'm a side supporter. I don't want to go up front. Or maybe you're always up front. And Tessa, thank you for sharing. The over-nurturer. I have that one on mine too. The giver. The over-giver. The over-nurturer. And this over is important. Are we overdoing? Are we over-helping? Are we overworking? Now it makes sense, right? If we're if our attachment is survival-based, man, we're gonna hyper-perform. So there's this just takes a lot of the blame out and puts so much compassion on what the hell was going on with these masks. It's not, it, it makes total sense and it's not for nothing that they formed. Some people have the mask of the kind of loser or non-starter. Like, well, I'm nothing, you know, I won't even try. Because you don't dare try when you feel you're not enough. Or there's another mask. Right now I have a client and she's so incredible. She's noticed she has a mask masking a mask. <laughs> so for example, right now, she's really struggling with her physical health. And being a sick one takes her out of her tiredness of playing the other mask. So this new mask, which is chronically sick, yet can't really diagnose it. So she knows it's got to do with her emotional piece. Well, what is it masking? Well, she was the perfect one, the hyper performer, won all the awards. So we can do that too, mask a mask. I mean, us humans are incredible with our imaginal realm. And what we're doing here is we're learning what did we imagine that is now working against us? And the beautiful thing, you guys, is if we put it on, if we got downloaded this conditioning that then had us creating masks, which we observed around us and rinsed and copied um, from the people and the society around us, then guess what? This stuff can take get taken off of us, too. That's the work I do with people. So in this little time together, we're going to give you a felt sense of that. Valerie's loading up her mask. I did the same with mine. <laughs> the more you look, the more you see. And what's gorgeous is if we name something and we claim something, then it becomes our ultimate art material to create something anew with it. So welcome it all. It's like the best feeling of no longer hiding from these masks, just to name them as our, as our best we could do in that time. So some other masks might be tough one, like being really tough, like nothing bothers me, or being really timid and fragile, like I don't dare to even go outside because it's scary out there. These are all, all different ways that we can have masks forming. Once you feel like you've really got them out on the page, I want you to really just keep in that slow, full breath and in the intention of, well, I'm learning how to work with these masks now. And if there's any voice or part of you that is starting to feel overwhelmed or upset or blaming or judging yourself, I want you to welcome even that part and let it know with hands on heart, breathe that part into your regulation, slow flow. And just say, I've got this. I'm figuring stuff out in a way I never have before. It's okay. You don't have to judge. It's all okay. And we can regulate ourselves and move into new states of being this way. So, Valerie, I'm just checking in with you now. I think you've filled your mask, your, your labels up. How do you feel? Can we move on? Yes, I definitely feel up. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did too. 
Yeah. And how are you feeling in your body and in your emotions? To see your it, it all it all comes up. It raises up inside you. It's like everything comes to the surface exactly how it looks. It, it um, really does. And are you okay to see it, them all come up? Do you feel comfortable knowing that we are intentionally working with this? Yes, definitely, yes. That's right. why it's good to see it, witness yeah. it. Yeah. And that, if, if anyone's watching and they're feeling like, oh, I'm not there yet where Valerie is, um, that's okay. It's a progression. Valerie and I do a lot of this. And that's why we now share this as art therapists. But we also do the work ourselves. And the more you get comfortable with these heavier, darker pieces, um, then those lighter pieces and the darker pieces, they can all coexist. Like every human has the whole range of colors. And actually, as I'm talking, I see Valerie's got an incredible um, set of cards. That it's so while I'm, I'm doing it, I just, feel, you know, found the cards that actually resonates um, of oh, things can you that share the some? masks. Yeah. So I uh, will put it upside down. Is it the right way? Yes. So some of them that we put on is someone can say, you know, they agree that they sometimes hide under the victim masks um, when confronted with something. It's And um, some people like to be prosecutors as a mask to hide their inner judgment to themselves. Yeah. And some of them like to be funny, you know, and joke I'm around when something, friend. yes, to be the joke jester or the trickster and use the humor to yeah. hide. And someone is a rescuer or fixer, the one that always comes up and needs to fix everything. Yeah. And I am the controller as well because I... If, if I have something goes out of my way, I put a mask of controlling freak and I like to fix everything and control. So these are some of the cards that resonates with, you know, how um, I feel as well when I have the masks. And some of them are hard to accept, but some of them I actually like. This is the mask that, you know, that I do. Uh agree with and it is a mask as well it's not always have to be a bad one you know <laughs> but it's also a mask for me because i put it on and as part of my profession and i become an artist uh and it is a mask because then i hide myself under that vision of people to take me as a creative being and then i put a mask as i'm a traveler or like a nomad so yeah it's just i'm showing these cards that just represents these feelings that we have oh my goodness i'm so first of all i'm so grateful that the sound is fixed so that we can have this conversation <laughs> more naturally because valerie these are so powerful and they are so important because it's i think you've touched on something these masks we don't why we're bringing them up is to to let the, let the hiding out of them. Secrets bind energy. And when we raise them up and see them and name them and claim them for ourselves, then our masks can transform. And they also can be not so gripped on us. We don't over identify with them and we come to know a much wider, vaster part of us. For example, that clown, the joker and the clown, the first time I identified that, part of me was very confronting and yet over time as I've grown grown to understand the child that was so using it to um, feel safe and to tr tragically trying to help the family unit to feel safe with the the laughter trying to bring something lighter into a being yeah this is the card thank you I started to integrate that part of me and heal that part of me and now my joking and my humor, it's also integrated and changed. It's its in a different state. And it actually serves as a beautiful tool for connectivity and 
for for just bringing uh, an upshift of energy. It doesn't happen have to happen all the time. It's just something that flows naturally through me now. So these masks can transform, but there needs to be a healing component first, and an awareness of who is really here watching all these masks. And that's the next step we're going to move into. But first, we want to help you to identify what is the main mask that is that is kind of the most charged one or most active one in you. And I really want to show you how you can do this through your art. There is so much information that has come through you on the page. I mean, look at Valerie's page, Craig. That is you. That's your soul speaking to you, reflecting information back to you. We are universal intelligence. This is how you get the data. So I'm going to invite you now to just let your eyes play on your page. So just let them go around and around that mask in the center of your page, like moving your eyes around to all those words. And just notice, are you in your smart, creative brain? If not, just take your breath, slow inhale, about five counts in, and slow exhale, about seven or eight out. And as you move into that calm part of your brain, with intention, ask your wisest, highest self, where is the one mask that needs to have my attention right now? And you will just know there will be a certain word. Valerie's literally making contact with hers. Just notice, as uh, take your time with this. Don't rush it. And don't, don't use the one that you think it is <laughs> from your conscious mind. Your body wisdom, your subconscious is guiding you now. And you'll just know, ah, oh, it's this one. It's almost like the creative intelligence puts a highlight over one of those words. And your body is pulled to it. Your eyes are pulled to it. And yes, exactly as Valerie did, just circle it. And I want to invite you now to just in that slow flow breath, play your colors, play your shapes, your lines, your rhythms into your mask and express that fully in your mask with a curiosity of exploring it. No more hiding from it. It was a brilliant tool to get you through safely until the point where you decide, maybe I don't want to be so tightly bound to this identity. You're just playing now. Just play it out on the page. Valerie has no idea, by the way, what's going to come through. This is the way we do Navigart. You just let your whole self, conscious and subconscious mind are syncing up now. Subconscious is 95%. It's your body and heart syncing up with your conscious which we're talking in five percent only we're inviting your whole self to just move color on the page how do you know what color your hand's going to grab one and then you're going to move a shape or a line or a shade or a rhythm and all of a sudden your hand will just drop that color and grab another or maybe it won't maybe it'll keep one color the whole way through you just trust your body and this is how you start working with your whole self to get 25% more wisdom through. What does this mask want to say to me? What does it so mean? I just I want to share my uh, feelings. Yeah. So yeah. I, have, I have like a very strong feeling like I want to break, break this um, framing <laughs> on the bottom. Yeah. Um, and from all the words that I put on I've actually um chose the one that I don't feel I'm 100 percent some so it's fixer and giver and yeah. then I have like a very strong feeling in my uh throat so it's something that's like maybe that's why I want to break it here like I want to yeah. ex express why am I a fixer maybe I just want to break this part and go in half yeah i see that it wants to go and how what's going on in your throat right now is it feeling tight is it starting to loosen yes, 
actually like it feels like it, it got stuck as soon as I started doing the drawings. Like okay. it contained all the energy there. Yeah. So I everyone watching, whether live or on the uh, re replay, <laughs> replay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still learning this stuff. Um, this is so important because remember I said we're accessing your subconscious. This is like 95% of our mind. Yet we in the West especially just function so much in this conscious mind. 5%. So we're not accessing. So all this was really happening. It was happening in Valerie. We have stuff happening all the time. It's just that we tend to just like cut off from our body because we don't want to feel because we don't know a safe way to feel. That's why we're doing Navigar. It's a safe way to feel and you get information. And so I have uh, I have this mouse that is not talking. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not talking. So when you're the fixer, you said you're the fixer and the giver. giver. So do you see what's happening when when valerie is playing this role of fixer and giver is this a joyous mask <laughs> <laughs> and do you see how this mask is impacting her whole being right it's causing her to literally shut down her truth she cannot look at that mouth she cannot speak her truth valerie you can affirm if i've got you right this is just yes me. Because and that's I, how i feel it's it started I actually go outside the mask. I don't want to feel inside the mask. Mm -hmm. I want to feel outside. Outside. There's a whole bunch of information actually coming on outside of our masks. Yet when that mask is on so tight, and again, no shame, no blame. Remember, we were in hypnosis. We literally, like this fixer giver is so interesting to me because I have this one too. Of course, Valerie, we're in the same biofield, right? Of course you yes. share this mask this happens a lot by the way guys i bet there's a bunch of you out there with some fixers oh look at eugene's got fixer there we go protector warrior yeah this mask eugene almost looks like a warrior mask this is fascinating that eugene's in the field with us too and i will get to your question your point eugene in a minute but i just want to speak to this who you can start asking yourself who or what in my field my energy field when I was a little one, generally, it's a very um, clear authority figure in your life, whether it's a parent or a grandparent, depending how you were raised, who really showed this mask a lot, that you just your little iPad just downloaded it. Oh, so when there's trouble, I just do like this. Or when there's something that's broken, I'm the fixer. In my family, I had it coming down in two two lines in two different ways both my mom and dad just were chronic like fixers givers so it in a in a very imbalanced way so it's just a full download you don't um have to answer that right now but you're i'm just popping it in there because then it helps you to liberate that mask easier and that any judgment you put upon yourself when you catch yourself like oh i'm doing that thing again it's literally a program running you and it, if it was installed in you, again, it can get uninstalled. But you have to go subconscious. And already we are lifting it here. How are you feeling now, Valerie, now that you're... So, yeah, you and, and, you know, as you can see, my mask is evolving. It's, it's, it can't talk. So mm -hmm. um, even when I put the mouse, I covered it with white again. So in my family, I think it was both because we need to be appropriate. We can't speak up and there say we what we think we need to be proper and it was you know everyone in in the society that i grew up that you know yeah. you need to try to fit in and right. that's where fitting in comes in so as well it's part of the mask beautiful and it is such important awareness the moment we start to see this stuff that seemed like a problem <laughs> as actually the doorway to solutions for understanding and awareness, the moment the light of awareness hits it, it's expanding already. Can you feel? Now look at the mask is starting to change. And um, it's incredible. This is happening organically, but if you're watching now or in the replay, just note two questions you can ask yourself at any point, whether while you're working, like Valerie's getting the downloads now, 
or even after with a journal, you could write the answers to those questions. Valerie, maybe you have more to say when I ask them literally, how did this mask, this strong mask that's got a hold on you, how did it protect you? So Valerie kind of spoke to that a bit. Uh, so, the, uh, how did it you? so I wouldn't get in trouble. I would not ever get in trouble <laughs> if I was, I would give and I would seek things. I wouldn't explain myself and there wouldn't be a problem around me. Yeah. If I would fit fit in into uh, the family that I was raised, yeah. and I would be proper and fix and give, yeah. And um, the the next step on that, the first thing that popped up when you said that is that is probably within every human, because at the root of us, we are mammals. We're animals. And I mean, I just think about this dinosaur <laughs> IMAX film I saw with my family last summer, and they were showing a stampede of dinosaurs and the survival, let's say survival. And if you were old or you were too young and you were not fit, that's the one who's going to get taken out. So it's like we have to show that we're essential. <laughs> we're indispensable to feel attached. Elena's just come on and she's like, I've missed the start. Please explain the meaning of the mask. Elena, we're kind of so far in, but essentially we form masks as a human as protection because we're not feeling so safe. And most of our families, we didn't feel attached or safe. So without knowing it, we form masks. So this is just us exploring the masks here. And another question you can ask yourself as you're exploring your core mask is how is it um how is it now constricting my authentic expression we're looking for our authenticity now how is this mask that used to protect me as i was little and even growing up to now how is it now inhibiting or constricting my authentic expression for me it's definitely um it looks like strong when it doesn't speak it has like a similar to this look yeah of being like this perfect image and yeah. just contained. contained and not speaking up and but have a very strong opinion somewhere <laughs> have like that confident look inside yeah. i guess it's a really big facade right like it's a very protective device yes eugene already mentioned the word protector and that's it our masks we think they're protecting us right so yeah and how how much that is limiting you valerie when you have that that defensive or that very protective front what is what is affected by that effective that I have that appearance of confidence in me that yeah. comes up in people in everyone's opinion that I fit in because I look confident without mm -hmm. speaking because I don't show my real emotions and I just hide behind the look yeah um without ex exploring and letting people in and showing my true self. Yeah, so true what you say. And it's so interesting how you said about the not speaking, because lift those cards up and look how much you liberated energy out of your throat chakra, just in this one drawing. And I would celebrate also what Eugene mentioned, <laughs> that Valerie, you're talking big time. Your throat. Chakra. <laughs> That's right. You're sharing with us, not just <laughs> honor Valerie, because she's sharing very vulnerable pieces of her story, not just visually. And I think it's such a gift, Valerie, because I don't. I think most people on this call or watching on the replay completely can um, connect with what you're sharing. I can, <laughs> and um, but you're also sharing verbally, and you're sharing gorgeous through your your empowered throat chakra look at all that yellow that's empowerment color <laughs> and, 
And then I feel like um, this mask is speaking through the eyes. It actually is saying everything. It's like a person that has no power to speak, but it found a way to speak through the eyes. Yeah. The eyes have a lot to say. How are you feeling in your body now that you've re released this mask a little bit onto the page? Are you feeling a difference yeah. in your I definitely, I, I feel like it's in the mask. It's in the picture now. It's not actually inside of me. It actually projected outside. Yes. And I transferred this mask on the paper out of my body. Yeah. So I don't belong in that image anymore. And that's why while I'm speaking up, it's, you know, that's the person that wouldn't speak. That's the fixer and giver that would hide everything inside to protect everyone else. And, you know, this is part of me that was there. But as soon as I put it out, you know, it's easier to project now and reflect how I feel when I see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things that we so hyper identified and thought, this is me. It's so fascinating when we create a, a image and we put those things out of us. What Valerie's saying is we recognize that they were actually put on us and we can put them off. And if it now is the information and the data that um, Valerie needs that we need uh, all of us doing this process it's the information we need so that when this program if it pops up again <laughs> if there's still a future overlay and it's running us all of a sudden there's this new awareness that wait a minute I surfaced this in the art so this isn't me who is the one watching this there is a difference there's more space there and sometimes it's just enough to keep moving it out with images, with journaling. And if we need extra support, that's when you go and you get someone else to sit with you and go deeper into the subconscious to really get to the roots of it. But this is the power that is in all of us to invite these things that we usually want to just keep hidden. It's like the monster under the bed. The minute that I flashed the flashlight there for my kids when they were scared, what's that monster under the bed? And you shine a light on it, and it's just an old pair of jeans or a teddy bear. <laughs> it's just junk under the bed that, that is actually not nearly as threatening. And in fact, Gabor Mate reminds us, we, we actually honor these pieces because they were the best we had at the time to keep safe. And you know what? They they worked for a while. It's just after a while they constrict other areas. So Valerie, I want to know if you want to just complete here or if you want to go into we're we're over time, everybody, but we knew that and we we respected this topic and had a sense we'd go over time. Um, how do you feel? What do you want to do now? So I feel like I um the process that we've done is projected one of the masks, one of the biggest masks that comes up today for you, for me. Um, and it's it's an amazing experience to see it. Of course, there's more. So my question to you, Corey, how do we ground ourselves from... So we've explored one of the masks today. We're releasing it. We're yes. working with that. We're accepting our you know who what came up for you your mask your facade and what's the next process from it yeah there's two things that come to my awareness just when you ask that question the first is the power of journaling um, another way of clearing and grounding is through our words our words actually do bring us back into our conscious mind daily mind and they bring that energy down to earth because we've gone quite far. When we go into our subconscious, it's like we're doing a full Google of our body, mind, spirit to get the information. So one question you might want to, um, if you're watching on the replay or you want to just ground into this on your own, is to just ask that mask and your highest self, 
what would come into my life if I, I let this fall away? What what's when I create that space, what new ways of being would show up for me? And you won't know this answer and that's okay. I want you to write it automatically. That means you take that slow breath that I showed you and you just let your hand write. And the research shows that when we literally write rather than type it on your computer, when we write it, we're activating a hundred times more neurons in our brain and we're moving that subconscious as well as our conscious. So you're going to get a full answer. There is so much potential in you when you liberate this energy. There is so much of you that wants to express itself. And um, and we don't even know. And our limits, limiting mind, our safe mind would put limits on that. So let whatever come through. It might come through in a list. It might come through just in a stream of words. Maybe only two words will come through or something. It's fine. Just let it be. And the other thing is we could ground with a, an, a, med, a meditation as well if we want to. Um, I don't know how much we want to go over time. What do you feel? I feel like we need to ground because it's very deep work, working on the mask. Okay, let's do that then. And I'm grateful, so grateful we're in dialogue, Valerie, because you've gone through the experience. So you know what you need. And if you need that, then I'm sure others need it too. So again, I invite you to just come into this moment and breathe deep into yourself. Inhaling really slow in your natural rhythm and just even slower exhaling through your whole body, your whole mind, your spirit. Just be comfortable. And you may find it more comfortable to close your eyes or even just to soften them, however feels safe and natural to you. And just straight away notice. You just, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to put anything on you to notice the natural being that is present in you. Not coming from somewhere else. It's simply here. Now, as you breathe into your whole being, notice and bring your attention only to this place which is simply being here. And perhaps your attention is now drifting to thoughts such as what you're gonna do after this or what you're gonna eat or what's going on in your life. It's fine, let it be. Just notice this, but stay only here. Don't follow thoughts. Ground into this moment and remain here. You're simply here. Now, in your sense of being here and the natural feeling of being inside are the same. Notice this. Now, even whatever your body is feeling, just notice, be aware, don't analyze. Look, but don't connect. Just stay like this, breathe. And in this maskless beingness, there is a natural feeling, a completeness in this. Just the sense of life, of presence. Be this. Whatever images might come up, just watch them. Knowing they're simply images on the screen of consciousness. They don't affect you. Now 
know that you are the screen that the images are projected on. You're not the images or the ideas you project yourself to be. There's no need to create or add. You're simply watching and being. Notice the effortlessness here. <laughs> You're not in a state of belief or trying. This is your natural being. You're simply here. No reaching anything, trying to control or fix or change anything here. Just your natural state unassociated, maskless. If thoughts suddenly rain on you loudly, it will make no difference to the truth of who you are, your authenticity. If you think it does, it will feel like this. But you can choose. Be unafraid. No need to identify with your thoughts. Just notice how your life can just unfold moment by moment in a natural way from here, from the inside out. This authentic, essential beingness that you are remains as it is. Soon I'll invite you to open your eyes and then when you do, you'll see that the quality of inner beingness, it remains. This subtle energy inside your body that you call my body, well, each time you turn inwardly, You'll notice this peaceful energy. Get used to it and gradually this current of deep joy and peace will be what remains and shines through you. When your mind is in this natural state of authentic being, everything flows easier. A spontaneous life force takes care of the flow of your doing this. This is your authentic being. Inhale one more deep breath and release anything residual that has got you identified with that mask. And as you do, feel your feet grow roots into the earth, grounded, safe, and at ease. And when you feel ready, slowly come back to the space. And you can bring your true authentic self with you too. <laughs> it's welcome here. Thank you so much, Corey. And I just want to say that Corey does magic and please find her links under this video. Mm -hmm. Also, she started her own channel where she shares so much wisdom in shorts very very uh, inspiring for me when i wake up <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much gory and i think today we've covered a very deep topic of yeah. masks that we carry and we always talk to be authentic self but then we can't find ourselves to be uh, authentic mm -hmm. and this is the way this is the past this is a navigation on how to take off the masks and see yourself for who you are hmm. yeah and you're so so welcome and it's so if ever there was a time it's now because you have such a uniqueness about you that no one, no one else has. And that's by design. And that is so welcome and necessary because you give permission to others 
when you show up as your authentic self, this one that we touch today, as you continue to make contact and show up that way, it liberates you, but all those around you to do the same. So thank you for showing up today. Thank you, Valerie, for bringing thank this. Thank you, everyone, as well, to join us on this journey. So good. See you next time. See you. <laughs>